Hi, I'm Francis, the host of this show, Cooking with Dog. Konnichiwa. Kyou wa kani no mi o zeitaku ni tsukatta kani cream korokke o tsukurimasu. Kani no kanzume ya kani komo demo juubun oishiku tsukuremasu no de zehi tsukutte kudasai. First, let's prepare the crab meat. Break the crab meat with your fingers. If using canned crab, drain the liquid in a strainer before use. Next, cut it with the kitchen shears into smaller pieces. Let's make the filling for the korokke. Heat a frying pan and melt the unsalted butter. When the butter has melted, add the chopped onion and stir fry. Stir fry the onion until it turns translucent. Add the chopped bottom mushrooms. Cook for about 2 minutes to reduce the moisture. Then, turn the heat to low and add the bread flour. The bread flour will make the filling gooier and stickier than cake flour, so it is suitable for cream korokke. If you prefer a silkier, lighter texture, use cake flour or all-purpose flour instead. Stir fry until the flour is thoroughly cooked. By cooking the flour thoroughly, the powdery smell will disappear and transform into an appetizing aroma. Now, turn off the heat and add all the milk at once. Mix it well to blend evenly. Turn on the heat and stir lightly. Then, add the crab meat, salt, and white pepper. Continue stirring on medium-high heat until the mixture thickens. When the mixture has reached the thick consistency as shown, transfer it to a tray. The tray is greased with vegetable oil to make it easier to remove later. Flatten the filling and tightly cover it with plastic wrap. Place the tray on ice and put ice packs on it to cool as soon as possible. Then, chill the tray in the fridge until cold. Now, the filling has chilled. Mark it into six equal portions. Coat your hands with vegetable oil. Then, take one sixth of the filling. Shape the piece into a circle while pushing the air out of it. If any air is trapped inside, it will burst in the hot oil. Today, we'll use a circular shape. But the cylindrical shape is also popular. The heat of your hands will make the filling sticky, so wearing kitchen gloves will make it easier to handle. Once all the filling is shaped into circles, remove the gloves and dust them with flour. Adjust the shape while covering it with flour. Use a spatula to transfer the filling into the bowl so it doesn't lose its shape. It's easier to work with plenty of flour in the bowl. Now, all the pieces are covered with flour. Next, lightly dust off the excess flour and dip the filling in the thoroughly beaten egg. Again, using a spatula will keep it from breaking and help to keep your hands clean. Then, cover the fillings with a generous amount of panko, Japanese breadcrumbs, and arrange them on a tray. You should use finely ground panko since it coats more evenly and doesn't come off as readily. If you only have coarse ground panko, 
put it in a plastic bag and roll it with a rolling pin over the bag to make it finer. As for the remaining flour and panko, sift each with a strainer into another bag. Store them in the refrigerator or freezer and use up as soon as possible. And now, let's deep fry the korokke. Heat the frying oil to 175 degrees Celsius. Place only three korokke in the oil at a time. If you put too many pieces in the oil at once, the oil temperature will drop and the korokke won't fry properly, so be sure to fry them a few at a time. Once the korokke are in the oil, move them gently so as not to disturb the coating. Flip them over. Deep fry them for a total of 2 to 3 minutes until deliciously browned. Then, remove, drain the excess oil, and place the korokke onto a cooling rack. These korokke are excellent with fresh tomatoes, lettuce, or other vegetables of your choice. When frying, sometimes the outer layer may break and the filling comes out. This happens mainly because the oil temperature is not hot enough, the flour, egg, or panko is not firmly attached, or the surface is damaged while deep frying. We recommend savoring the rich crab flavor of the korokke without any sauce. You can also make delicious cream korokke with scallops, shrimp, or crab sticks. Good luck in the kitchen!